Hi, it's Alexander from Tilda. We've created several demo pages with different animation effects to show how you can set them up for your projects. In this video, I'll break down the ticker animation effect. Here's what the page looks like. It has another ticker over here. In the bottom right corner, we can see the template ID, which means that we can use the page as a template. I'll show you how you can do that in a moment. I'll create a new page in my project. Scroll down the templates and click Enter Template ID at the very bottom. I paste in the number and the template with all the animation settings has now been added to my project. Let's go into the zero block editor to see how the settings are configured. Let's select the element, open the settings panel and click edit at the bottom under step-by-step -step animation. Any step-by-step -step animation consists of three steps, event, steps, and properties. Event stands for the event that launches the animation. There are several options here. In our case, it is element on screen meaning that the animation starts as soon as the element appears on the screen. There is also a loop setting, which means that the animation steps are looped or repeated over and over again. The animation of this element consists of two steps. Properties are the element properties which are going to change for each step. Let's have a look at the settings of the first step. It lasts for two seconds and the element moves by 740 pixels during that time. Let's create this animation from scratch. I copy the text and delete this step. Let's make another copy of the text and use it as a landmark to see where it should move. Then I add a step, set the duration to two seconds, and move the text box to where we've landmark. The move settings will automatically change. The animation is ready. You can click on play element to see what it looks like. Now we need to copy the element and turn it into a news ticker. The main thing is to make sure it arrives exactly in place of the previous element. Copy the text and put it in place of the landmark. You can now copy several phrases at once. It is better to make a lot of copies so that the line is longer and it looks just as good on big screens. You can see what the whole animation will look like by clicking on play element. Let's save the settings and take a look at the result. To see the finished animation, open the preview mode or publish the page. This is how the news ticker effect turned out. That's all for now. Watch other videos about step-by-step -step animation in zero block. Thank you for choosing Tilda. Take care and good luck.